this week's Ultra X Weekly Challenge is pretty simple, really. We're just looking at using the interactive chart tool, which is found in the reporting tab, which maybe you don't use very often. I know that it was certainly the first time that I had to learn to use it. So this is what we're aiming for. Um, the uh, minimum wage in the United States by some different regions over the years. So one of our inputs is just the year, the state, um, and then it's all these other values and you're kind of looking at them thinking which one is actually the minimum wage. Um, so that's kind of one of the challenges is kind of just working out which value, if you average over it, is going to give you the value in the output. So my only way of knowing how to do that was just trial and error. So, uh, but I'll tell you the way that I did it in a second. So the other input is just to do with uh, matching the state to the region, because in the uh, challenge it says that we have to do it by region, and we can see in the chart that we've got a line for each region. So before we join that up, we're just going to, because we have a null at the moment for the federal uh, region, we just are going to replace that with a simple formula here. Um, we're just saying get the first word, basically, um, in that. Uh, rather than having the FSLA because that's just a bit messy and it's not required in the output. So we're just set using this get word formula that you might not have seen before because it was actually the first time I've used it. So then we're just joining those together and getting rid of a lot of the unnecessary columns. So the only value that we actually need is the high value um, and we're just converting that into a double as well so that we can then take the average of it in our summarize tool. So just grouping by the year and the region and doing the average. Now it comes to the meat of the challenge, which is getting used to the interactive chart. So the first thing that's a bit weird is that you don't use the configuration pane. You have like a pop out configuration pane that pops out. Um, so I might do this from scratch actually, because I found that when I was building it, I'd make one small mistake and it would kind of mess up the whole chart and it was irreversible. So it was a bit strange really. So first of all, we kind of, add a layer. Um, I generally just click on you know the first thing that I see that seems to make sense. We're changing the type to a line. We know that on our x-axis we want the year and on the y-axis we want the average minimum wage. Uh, that's not looking right at the moment. So the way that we split this out into the different regions is we go to transformations and we split and we select a column to split it on, which is the region. And now that looks more like what we want it to. Um, so the rest is just kind of general formatting. We need to change the Y axes uh, here. So we go to, into the axes along the side and we change the titles from there. And we can type in USD uh, as is on the uh, desired output. And the way that we get this spacing along the bottom to change is also in the axes. And we do the spacing, we do custom, and they have it going every 10 years. So we go up to 10, but then they have it starting from, you know, 1970. So we offset it as well. And these things took me quite a long time to find myself, but now that I'm explaining them, really quick. Uh, so hopefully that's a nice, helpful, introduction to the interactive chart tool and thanks for listening.